Welcome back to the Cricket Today podcast as we take a look at the biggest villains in cricket history. I'm your host, Liam McCain, also known as the Stats Guy. Leo Smart over there, so I'm going to start with Marcus. Hey, yeah, yo, Marcus. I'm doing very good, thank you. You are about... Leo's villain after that intro. Yeah, yeah. actually, who is the biggest villain on this show? I'd say mm. Marcus. What? Anyway, I'll, I'll... <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to go to Leo now. How you going, Leo? I'm good, thanks, Stats Guy. I think your biggest villain is speaking. Whoa, okay. Ooh. No, that's Just true. See, this, you got a, a few takes to get through that intro. No, <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty sure I've only seen one take, one beautiful take. Uh, yeah, who is the biggest villain on the show? I, I, I'd vote for you. Just I'd vote for myself. I don't know why. <laughs> just, you just yeah, come yeah. off a bit, a bit angry sometimes. I vote. Stats guy. Uh, there you go. Yeah. Who do you vote? <laughs> a bit of a myself. He's a yeah, dictator. You vote yourself. So <laughs> He's a bit of a dictator as a host. Yeah. Whoa, okay. Yeah. 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 yeah, get back in line, man. Jesus. We're actually not allowed to eat. Until Stats Guy says we can. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, just dinner tonight, lads. Just dinner. Oh, Before we good. start, be sure to get around this on Spotify, Apple Podcasts. Make sure you subscribe to the YouTube. What's our next goal, lads? 20,000. 20,000 from 1.2 or whatever. Right? Yeah, I reckon 2,000. 2,000. 2,000, then 5,000, then yeah. 20,000. Yep. So, we're all, yeah, road to 2,000. Get around us on, uh, yeah, subscribe on the YouTube, please. Let's get into it. The biggest villains in cricket history. This could be interpreted in so many ways. I yeah. feel like we're going to have very different lists, and I'm very excited. Hmm. Let's go with Leo. You always start with me because <laughs> he's always the most nervous. <laughs> he's also the most nervous with these. So don't, uh, give my, don't give him eye contact. He won't pick you. What? It's like high school all over again. Wait, what? Don't give him eye contact. And oh, he won't don't pick give him you eye contact. Okay. To be fair, Leo, yeah. the whole show just looks me dead in the eye. It's beautiful. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, you go first. So for number five, <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go number with five. Johnny Bairstow. Johnny Bairstow. Yeah, okay. I just hate him. Yeah. <laughs> Is that it? <laughs> no, he's a, he's, he's a villain to just Australians. Obviously, yep. in the 2023 Ashes, he walked down, had a little stroll from his crease a few mm, times, and did. the Aussies picked up on it. And Carey rolled the ball back at the stumps. Um, very smart play by the Aussies within the rules, and he just had a massive sook about, about it and is still sooking to this day. So oh, he's just yeah. a villain for being a sook. After Maud Ayad, he attempted to do the exact same thing in the games. Every keeper game does. Does. The every, every keeper every does. Keeper because does. it's a legal action. Yeah. Yep. So I, I don't mind that villain. I think the, he's just gonna, we're going to build number five. So yep. you're number five, Marcus? Uh, I thought I'd chuck an honourable mention in. Oh, he's doing it now. He's doing it now. Okay. Well, well, well why you said HM, Johnny Bairstow? HM. Why, why you said Johnny Bairstow? I'm going to go the entire Basball community <laughs> That's team. a great call, actually. Okay, I'll allow that honourable mention. That is a great call. Because they are just ruining cricket. They're ruining test match cricket. They think they're the epitome of the standards that are held so high yep. in the cricketing world. They act like when the they're villain just not. as well. Yeah, yeah. Um, and look, the amount of excuses that they pop out, like <laughs> if we had Jack Leach, we would have won the Ashes. We missed out on Nathan Lyon for like four test mm. matches. Yeah. Jack Leach. Yeah, Jack Leach. The amount Leach. of victories that What does got. Tom always say? He bowls door openers, Jack Leach. Yeah. Yeah. Absolute yeah. door yeah. openers, not spinning much. Well, you've, yeah, they, you've, they made, have... you've taken my honourable mentions pretty much. Well, so. just England cricket in general. Yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah. that's well. All right, what's your actual number five? My actual number five... It's going to be Michael Clark. Oh, yeah. I don't I think, mind I that. Think villains yeah. wise, I think everyone would agree this probably should be very Australian focused. Just for his commentary or? No, I think <laughs> even his teammates didn't like him at the time. Yeah. Yeah, no, I think, yeah, as a, as a leader, I don't know, I feel like, again, I'm bringing up the hard man stuff. He was that sort of, it was a right sort of character to lead Australia. Very questionable in his, his personable skills, yes. I think, with, with teammates. Like, he was good tactically, uh, but a yes. lot of teammates didn't like him, apparently. Yeah. Yes, yeah. exactly. So, Michael Clark just sneaks in my number five. He has also gotten fights since he's retired and yep. random things, so he is a little bit of a villain. So is Ben Stokes, who so was a part of my honorable mentions. Okay, there you go. So. Uh, my number five, Mitchell Johnson. I'm going Mitchell Johnson. Because over the world, he intimidated he's intimidated players all over the world. His mustache just reminds me of an old school villain. What? Come on. You, just because you two <laughs> yeah, love just Mitchell explain Johnson. Yourself. I want hey, to see, yeah, yeah. Yeah. see if you can convince me. growing a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. A little bit. <laughs> so <laughs> <sorry>. <laughs> <laughs> just, we, I'm so proud of this up on the AFL today, uh, AFL, yeah, today show. And yeah, we weren't a fan, but that's all right. No, you just <laughs> explain something. yourself and try Thank and you. convince me. All right. So we'll let you explain One yourself. The and then you're like, why are you looking at me like that? I don't know. I just I just gave respect to you guys and you never yeah. give respect to me. But yeah, I don't agree with you. He this. used to look yeah. very angry. He used to literally, every time he was bowling, he'd get into Stuart Broad and Kevin Peterson's uh, face, especially in the Ashes. He was right in their face. English people hated him. English people were intimidated by him. A villain in a traditional sense, you were very intimidated by them in a movie or things like that. He was an intimidation factor. Just because we're Aussie, I mean, I don't think he's a villain, but almost everyone in the world, I think, uh, would, mm, would classify him as a villain. Okay. And then taking that to this next step, he was also sacked by multiple media uh, uh, yeah, things when yeah. he retired. He was, he was a bit of a villain because everything he sort of came out of his mouth and that he wrote about was very negative. So I just classify him as a bit of a villain. Yeah, I think he's convinced me a little bit. 
Oh, yeah. Just the mustache and he, from he, getting and people's as faces. An Aussie perspective, that's, we don't see him as point. a villain. Yes. But that's mm. guy might have unlocked something. There you yeah, go. Maybe. That might be the most like, like what's the word I'm looking for? Like informative <laughs> thing you've ever said ever. Thank you. Well done. Yeah, thanks. Good job. I know you're being oh, very. Yeah. Uh, no, no, that was good. <laughs> that was, that was <laughs> good. you were saying that, that it's yeah. so condescending, but I know yeah. that no, no, deep no. down you mean I'm, I'm alright. I'm definitely going over the top here, but <laughs> I actually thought that was really good stuff. All right, so perfect. I've actually got lots Bring of. Bring more too. of that. All right. Ooh. Well, uh, that's uh, number five. So I, I put it. That's why I put him at number five. Just to yeah, warm, yeah, like, warm just a little, into it. little, just like come off the long run. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What are your? What's your number four? Are you still got me? Yeah, we'll go. Yeah, the next one. Yeah, oh. Just for now. I've gone David Warner at four. Oh, yeah. okay. I just think uh, as a villain, this is probably to use your Johnson argument to a lot of other countries. He was seen as, you know, this sort of angry, ill-tempered guy, especially before the um, ball yeah, tampering. When he was younger as saga. well. Yeah. Yep. Uh, and then he became a villain in Australian cricket with the ball tampering stuff, obviously. And I don't think a lot of people, There's, I know there's a lot of cricket fans out there that love him as a cricketer, but don't necessarily like him as a person or a bloke. Yeah, I'll put my hand up. Um, yes, that's guy puts his hand up. Yep. So I just think he's become a villain in that sort of way and how the, I guess, the Australian cricket culture, I guess, changed for the bad. Mm -hmm. um, and he may have been a part, part of that. I well, he definitely was a part of that. You could say that. Well, he was. He got he got caught and was banned for a couple. Of I days. just want to make sure because he, he might be watching this. Though. I don't want to. I want to <laughs> keep him. I want to keep him on the good side. I don't know this tall, but he he would bash him. He would bash him. He's still tall than you. Oh, I will. <laughs> Four foot two with an know. attitude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, apparently. All right. Uh, let's see. Yeah, swiftly go past Leo, Marcus. Number well, four. I'm just googling David Warner's height. How tall are you? Well, out of oh, I think he's taller. I think he's taller than me. No, I think you're One taller. Oh, yeah. Yes. Oh, there you go. Yeah, I'm two centimeters tall. This is a good podcast for you so far. It is. Oh. It's just big ups. Uh, yeah. What, <laughs> number four. <laughs> you really said big ups. Never said that in my life. <laughs> <laughs> number four. Going an Englishman. Yeah, we love that. Any any takers? Uh, uh, Kevin Peterson. Stokes. Oh, well, that would have been a good shout. No, and no, I'm on Stuart Broad. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's I'm a good Stuart one. Broad. He's just the most plain Stuart. human. You didn't even think about Stuart Broad. I don't know why. Yeah. Yeah, he's just a, yeah, he's just a, a plain guy. guy. I should have um, put him in there. He's a bit of a villain because on the cricket pitch, he can be a little bit of a knob. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, to put it frankly, uh, uh, to be fair, all legendary fast bowlers can be that at times. Like Aussie greats, Dennis Lilly. You sort of need that little, been little, list. little bit mm -hmm. of dog in you yeah, against the opposition. Yeah, like Mitchell think. Johnson, mm -hmm. Dennis Lilly could have been on this list. And I just think the whole, when he didn't walk after he snicked it that to, was so to bad. slip, <laughs> yeah. just little things like that just add to his little villain I think, status. And, yeah. In the past, know. about not walking, yeah, all right. We didn't have a review system. When you have a review system, that clearly we didn't have any. Actually, and we, we didn't, didn't have, have any reviews, reviews, right? Yeah, because like, yeah. if we did, we would have reviewed it. Mm. <laughs> yeah, at the time, I was angry, but hindsight, I don't know. I wouldn't no, walk. No, no, I was still angry. I think. Yeah, still I think angry. <laughs> that cost us the. If test. you edge it yeah. to slip, that was pretty bad. Yeah, and, then, and like the whole world's watching. And that whole series, we actually had a lot of decisions go against us in the mm. review system. Remember yeah. the Kawaja one on Graham Swan? Yeah, clearly didn't hit it. We we also didn't get into the umpire enough. Like I don't even know which umpire that was. That that was mm. the one of the worst calls in yeah, cricket history. Shocking. Was it Alim Dav? I just made that up. I'm not sure. Like that could be, be another clip. Most controversial or worst yeah. cricket calls in, in history. Mm. There we go. But yeah, I agree with Stuart Broad. I didn't even think about him somehow. How did you not think about Stuart Broad? Oh, there's crazy. so many there's so many people out there. <laughs> there's a lot of so people. Many, just this in general. There's so uh, many bad humans in cricket. There is. Uh, one of those bad humans. Oh, he's not a bad human, but I classify him as a villain. Virat Kohli. Boom! Mm. Well, you the don't rat. think he's a villain? No. The rat. Okay. Extremely cocky. Always gesturing to the crowd, especially when he was younger. He was more of a villain when he was younger. He <clears> literally <throat> showed the bird to the uh, Aussie crowd multiple he's times on the hero in the test. Arc. He's on the hero arc. Is he? I don't know. I don't know. He's had beef with Tim Payne, Jimmy Anderson, Mitchell Johnson, uh, to name a few. That's a few of them in uh, Aussie territory. Uh, that's the other one. The other way of looking at it, though, he always backs it up. Every, lots of countries hate him, like Australians, because he'll, he'll uh, talk to talk. Sort of like Usain Bolt. <clears throat> where you go, oh, he's so cocky. I can't stand him sometimes. And then he'll run the fastest time. Virat Kohli will come out and make a hundred after talking a lot of crap uh, out on the field. He's, mm. the, he's a, just the definition mm. of so, a villain, so I think. If Virat Kohli wasn't a superstar in cricket, say he had the average of David Warner was very good, but if he had the average of David Warner, would we see him the same as David Warner in terms of like? Uh, no. I think people would like Aussies would like him more if he averaged less, if that makes sense. Because yeah, every yeah. time, because he, he always beats us. He always beats us. So yeah, yeah. that's why I've put him in as a villain because in lots of countries, Pakistan, for example, mm, yeah, he's a massive say. villain. Australia, he's a villain. England, mm. he's a villain. So yeah, I'm I think he's our number four. He's a villain to Pakistan in the same way Baba Azam is a villain to India. Yes, because mm. so. they're just stars that are- well, You'd better not have Baba Azam in no, your list. No, of course not. No, I, did, he, I did consider it. Wait, how? <laughs> because he's a villain to India. Yeah, but that's it. Not the whole world. Yeah. Anyway, anyway. 
All right. Uh, <laughs> we're up to the top three already. We are. We're, we're, we're cooking here. We're cooking. Ooh. And we're starting with stats guy. All right. Do you want to start with me? I don't know. Yeah, we will. <laughs> we will start with me. All right. This one is a guy that neither of you might not have heard of. I talked to briefly oh, about this with Marcus. This Douglas Jardine. Same. Do you have same. him? Oh, do you have him? <laughs> number three. Yeah, oh, yeah, number three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All DJ. the same. We hate you, Douglas Jardine. Douglas Jardine is uh, very controversial. Played from 1928 to 1934, so I remember him mm. quite well. Yep. Uh, one of the most hated captains in cricket ever. He was the original person to use the body line tactic, bowling every ball for days. Or oh, he didn't bowl himself, but he was the captain. Yep. And he'd order his players to bowl every ball a bouncer at people's heads. That was yep. before helmets, before they- um, Uncovered pitches. Uncovered pitches, so yes. like- very dangerous pitches. Yeah, they, he, yep. he didn't care. Uh, it was also it was even more known as a gentleman's game back in the day as well. That that Australia wanted to call it off. Don Bradman wasn't happy. He's like, I just want to play some. Speaking pure cricket. of villains, yep. he could be up. He there, could Don be a villain Bradman. actually. Don as well. a lot of everyone in the team actually hated Don Bradman. Uh, what else have I got on here? He also used to fight with his own players. They used to argue with him that they didn't want to bowl bounces, and he said, "I'm going to drop you from the team." I read mm. an article. Uh, if you don't bowl bounces, so he's a real villain. Australia mm. uh, considered not going to England in 1932. Because of Douglas Jardine. Yeah. So he's an Aussie uh, villain for if sure. You're, if you're threatening a tactic to cause physical harm. Yeah. And look, now we look back on it and we're like, how did someone not die during that? I know. Series? Yeah, it's crazy. And well, even like the lots of concussions without helmets, like mm. very lucky that no one died mm. in like what was it, about 80 years where we I feel like know. the ball could have been a bit harder as well back then. Yeah, maybe, today. maybe. Got no way of knowing. So you got. Wait, we all had him at number three. We all had him. We all had him. Is there any other points you want to make on Douglas ah, Jardine? Nailed it. Nailed, nailed it. it. All right. That was, that was your best. We can't remember those days that. like you. So no, that's true. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I am. What am I? Hundred years old. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez, I look good. He's Kenneth from Thirty Rock. If yeah. anyone knows that yeah. reference. Oh, you said that before. I, I that need that to watch before. Thirty Rock. Uh, all right, number two. I'll go with Marcus. We haven't started Ooh. with him, and then we'll go. That's someone we've already had. So good thing you did that. David Warner. Yep. Yeah, I think Leo. Sort of hit the nail on the head there with David Warner. Um, just the, I wouldn't say he's got an arrogant personality, but oh, he's, he, I think his aggressive, <laughs> I think his aggressive nature sort of portrays mm. that villain arc already. And then the fact that he just the whole sandpaper incident and, mm -hmm. and everything else going along with his career. Yeah, I think David Warner uh, is well and truly in his rights to be in a top three villain in cricket history. If he wasn't on TikTok, I would like him more. <laughs> is that is that is that so bad? Do you like me less because I'm on TikTok? Mm. Yes. Yes, oh, because you. all those dances you do. I don't actually. I don't care if you don't post on TikTok, but just the dances. <laughs> as soon as when's, you when's your something. dance? Your punishment? Oh yeah, that's happening. Coming yeah. out on TikTok? No, that's definitely not happening. Yeah, yeah I remember that. I you cannot make me do all that. that. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. To that. yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, right. Leave a comment if you want to see the stats guy dance on TikTok. <laughs> leave a comment if you want to see Marcus and face 150k's an hour. I'll do, do it. it. What do we? I'll do it. Oh, not, no. not dance. So I'll do 100. I'd rather do the 150k's than dance. Yeah, that's insane. Like I'd rather almost die from a cricket ball than do a TikTok dance. That's what I'm saying. Uh you're number two, Leo. Uh, so you had Warner at two, I had yes. Warner at four. Yep. You had Broad at four, I've Broad at two. Oh, okay. I don't mind Broad. I completely forgot about it. I just him. think, yeah, he's a huge villain for Aussie cricket. Yeah. Uh, you mentioned yeah. sneaking and uh, not walking. That in itself is just, yeah, pretty abysmal. Yeah, but also, um, <laughs> also <laughs> the... <laughs> Did you know how to bleep that <laughs> Also, uh, in the last Ashes, when Bearstow uh, obviously got stumped, he came out and he obviously, what he did changed the game and worked for England because it got us a little bit rattled. But yeah. he, his arrogance to come out and just say to Carey and Cummins, that's all you'll be remembered for. You know, it's yeah, just glass half full stuff. Like yeah. he knows what he's doing. He's smart yeah. with it and he's teasing us and he's mm. getting under our skin. Like he's doing right now. We're talking about him right now. But at the end of the day, he's a villain to us. Yep. So I actually didn't should. mind him. When he was playing in the Big Bash, do you remember he did a oh, lot of media? Yeah. Him and like yeah. Freddie Flintoff were two guys I used to like couldn't yeah. stand. And then they came Freddie and played in the Big Bash. I love Freddie. I love Freddie. But yeah, like Stuart Broad has similar energy. But yeah. The thing did. is, I think with Stuart mm. Broad is he he's a villain, but he I'd also like if if I was an Australian cricketer, I'd want to like have a beer after the game with him, you know? Like yeah. at the same time. I think like, he has a bit of white line fever. Yeah, yeah. 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 Like Toby it's, Green vibes. Yeah. Well, for AFL, for AFL. Sorry, for <laughs> AFL references, yes. But yeah, there you go. There you go. Uh, number two, my number two, very uh, lucky not to be number one, I think, Greg Chappell. I don't know if you okay. guys have him. Do you have, have Greg Chappell at all? Well, we'll find out. All right, all right. Sorry, yeah. <laughs> suspense, yeah. Uh, he oh, he oh, is oh. the definition of a villain. He literally directed his, his brother to pretty much cheat. The most. Yeah, yeah. He told his brother, Trevor, can you just do the most controversial thing in cricket history for me, just for me, and you just bowl an underarm. That is a horrible brother, horrible brother. <laughs> Uh, he was an absolute, uh, what's it called? Villain. Uh, I, what it was. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say something. I was going to say something. Stop swearing. 
Gerald, Sorry, Gerald. Oh Gerald, Gerald you're after, dude. <laughs> I said villain. Uh, villain towards New Zealand cricket. Villain towards uh, even Australian fans hated him at the time. Yeah. Richie Benno literally said straight down the camera, like, you are a flog. Like, how dare you do that uh, yeah. towards uh, Australian cricket? Then not just that. Uh, India and a lot of Indian fans, he coached India for a little bit. I don't know if you guys know that. In mm. the early 2000s, he sacked uh, Surav Ganguly as captain because they were fighting. So they just didn't Jeez. get along. So he goes, no, nah, Ganguly, you're out. Indian fans hated that because they love Ganguly. He's an mm. absolute legend. Mm. Uh, and then he just didn't get along with a lot of the Indian players after that. So, yeah, just an absolute villain. Uh, mm. Just in, in Not in, in terms of Aussie cricket, but Indian cricket, New Zealand cricket. A lot of guys, that, uh, people don't like him. And then even he was on the selection panel and a few other things and just, yeah, very villain, villain, uh, villainy. Villainess. 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 Yeah, he definitely had a villain arc and that's yeah. why he's my number one. Oh, he's going straight into it. You're number one. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Um, I'll do what you failed to do. I'll, I'll plug the... <laughs> Top controversies in cricket history video, which was last week. Check it out. Yes, good uh, call. We talk about this incident. Yep. Uh, Very good but call. yeah, I think just that alone does like puts him up on that pedestal as being a top villain. Yeah. And I think you just had to have an Australian as uh, the number one villain. And just, we probably had the, the most contro controversies. I don't, I, don't, I don't have an Aussie as number one. I do not have Greg Chappell in my list. Oh, really? wow. I've gone very obscure with my number one. Leo was okay oh, with the other arm, is what he's saying. I was okay with the Under Armour still again, sucked in New Zealand. <laughs> <laughs> Number one. Here we go. Shakir Balassan. Oh, wait, what? what? Massive villain, oh, yeah, especially in the subcontinent. I love Shakir. He's Ooh. got a pretty bad rap sheet, Shakir Balassan. So in, I think it was 2019. Oh, no, it was the recent World Cup in yep. the T20. He timed out Angelo Matthews in a fiery class That's against right, Sri Lanka. Yeah, yeah. Uh, did not withdraw the appeal. I think even his teammates were a bit... Like, hey, this is a bit... Uh, oh, just, you just hurry up, Andrew, Andrew Messi. Hurry uh, up, mate. He was late by like one second. Uh, like, okay. uh, I don't know if you remember, but in 2015, I think it was... Oh, no, sorry, 2021, uh, he kicked the stumps over because he appealed, didn't get... Yeah, the yeah and I then forgot he about kicked that. the stumps... I forgot about that. ...and said it was a human error. <laughs> and he kicked the stumps. Kicked the stumps that's over. Up, that's happened to local cricket to me. I've had, I've had uh, a teammate actually kick the stumps Jesus. when he was bowling. And he cracked it, kicked the stumps. I've had a batsman who I got out. <laughs> it was a stumping. Um, and he came back and smashed his bat on the stumps. Oh, I've seen that before. I've seen that before. Yeah, I would expect that at local We need some uh, frog box I'll... footage of that, I reckon. <laughs> oh. I would not expect that at international level. No, definitely not. And then also, there was a fiery game in 2018 against Sri Lanka again, where a no ball, there was a bit of a controversial no ball decision. Mm -hmm. And Shakib turned, uh, sorry, went to the umpires and said, Let's get the uh, batsman off the field in protest of that. They ended up winning on, off the second last ball, I think. But just carries on. And then the lastly, in 2019, he was banned by ICC for two years for failing to report corruption approaches. He's got a pretty bad rap sheet. Yeah. He's a bit of a flog. Mm. And I just think in <laughs> the subcontinent. Like <laughs> really? <laughs> no, nah, nah, to be fair, after all those yeah, I mean, he's, I, look, he's I don't think he's a villain there. for Australians, but I think he's a massive villain, especially for, for Sri Lankans. Oh yeah, my Sri Lankans God. and yeah. subcontinent. Yeah. Um, people as well definitely all right that's your number one Bit of an obscure oh, like one. i've got an obscure uh, sort of obscure one as well have uh, we had it no we haven't had really? it no no uh, he's, he's lent in there oh. you're right. wrong yeah uh show him actor so let okay. me uh let me break let it down cook. a bit let, him let me cook. break it down a bit not only is he one of the fastest bowlers of all time he clocked what was it 160 plus uh so very scary to face just that side of villain and just trying to uh, mm. bowl people out that's pretty scary but Similar to Shakib, he's got a big rap sheet of like really bad things he's done. I've got about six things here. He's suspended twice for ball tampering. He once hit his own teammate Asif with with his bat. What the uh, hell? He was banned <laughs> for dis disciplinary issues, physically fighting with opposition and treating teammates and umpires horribly. So he, he was pretty much physically abusing his teammates, opposition, and pretty close to physically abusing the umpires. Jesus. He Jesus. was uh, removed from a tournament for using steroids. Uh, he didn't oh, care what, out. so this is the main thing I think of him not being like, a, uh, being a massive villain. He didn't care what his own fans or teammates thought of him. He just said, just do whatever you want. Even like Pakistan mm. fans, the Pakistan players mm. now just want to do everything for their fans. He did not give one crap by the sounds of it. He'd just do anything. Yeah, um, geez. yeah, people like watching him bowl, but Indian fans and just fans all over the world just hated how much he cheated. So he's going to be my number one. Yeah, yeah. I like yeah. it. I think we've all got some like pretty that. good, good. lists. Yeah, we're yeah. all yeah. friends. Oh, <laughs> we're all friends. Oh, I don't know about Ooh. that. Yeah, <laughs> Uh, yeah, so, yeah, number one. What, what was it? No, number one. We'll just recap it. Well, your number one again? Greg, Greg Chappell. Chappell. Shakib Balassan. Shakib Balassan. Sure, back to that. A bit of a few Ooh. different ones. Yeah, one. No, like England's it. English players at number one, which surprised well, me. Well, I did have mm. honourable mentions. Um, Marcus touched on it. It was like Ben Stokes. Joffre Archer in the 2019 Ashes. Joffre Archer. A big villain. Yeah, I was mm. there. Um, that was bad. And Joss Butler, too, as well. 
Mm. Oh, you don't like Josh Butler. Yeah, yeah. he's because he's a, he chirps a bit a lot. of a flog to uh, Vernon Philander. Tell yeah. him to stick his gut in. Worry about yeah. keeping Josh. Well, to who, didn't he do a similar? Thing? Actually, I just rem I just remembered another honorable. He mention. did a similar thing to. I can't remember, but he was like... He's cooking. Yeah, he, no, there was not. a lot of swear words, which I won't repeat. Oh, well, you've already had enough. You might as well keep going. <laughs> but then remember Ben Stokes backed him up and was like... Yeah, that was the Vernon Philander one. Was that Vernon Philander? Yeah, where they threw the ball back. That's and right. And it was at yeah. Philander. Yes. He told Philander to get out of the way and yeah. swore at him, told him to move his gut. And then Stokes looked, said to him, don't just stare at him. You know he's got a point. Mm. Shut up, there Stokes. You go. <laughs> go play there for you New Zealand. There, well, there is a go lot of... Go punch another Kiwi. Yeah, yeah exactly. Uh, yeah. Oh, also, Ravi Ashwin's another honorable. Ravi Ashwin. Oh, we could have put Ashwin in there. Maybe let us know in the comments your biggest villain in, in your... Uh, Did you life. say you had an honorable mention or...? I was going to say Ian Healy because he used yeah. to... Uh, like really, really personal. He'd find personal things to say behind the stumps. Yeah, okay. So if you were a bit bigger, he'd say, we'll put a Mars bar down the pitch or things like that. He was yeah. he was pretty brutal. Yeah, Ian Healy okay. behind the stumps. I'll throw, so, I'll throw DK out there. Yeah, DK, DK as well. DK yeah. Lily, yeah, yeah. So yeah, let us know in the comments your, uh, your most controversial players, villains and things like that. And then check out our other video, that which sort of relates to this one, most controversial moments in cricket history. All right, that's Stumps. I'm calling it, lads. That's Stumps Ooh. for the Cricket Today Show. We'll be back with this next Wednesday, next Wednesday or Thursday, uh, I believe for another evergreen uh, bit of content that we love doing at the moment, or a bit of a tease. Yeah, we'll see how we go. So get right around the show, send in any questions. Thank you very much, Joe, behind the camera. Thanks, Leo. Thanks, that's guy. Thanks, Marcus. Thank you, that's guy. Thanks to me, and that's another episode of Cricket Today Done. We're out. If you like this show, make sure you check out all the other shows in the Sports Today Network, from the AFL Today Show to the Cricket Today Podcast, the Football Today Podcast, as well as NBA Australia and NFL Australia. With Sports Today, your sporting needs have never been easier to cover.